Hi everybody! I know that you have heard us talk about Screencastify and how much we love this product and we want to show you a feature today that is really going to encourage you to want to either submit a lesson plan to Screencastify's database and I will put the link up there for you uh, so that you can get three months free of Screencastify or you're going to want to just shell out the two bucks a month that it costs to buy it because this feature is one that you need to do a lot of cool stuff with, uh, really increase the engagement in your presentations and to be able to add moving tutorials videos to Google Docs and that is the ability to really quickly easily make an animated GIF using Screencastify. So I'm getting all geared up here to show you how this process works so that you too can start making GIFs or GIFs as you prefer today using Screencastify. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to turn on Screencastify. Well really I guess the first thing we're going to do is get whatever it is we want to make a GIF of all queued up. So I'm going to make one of how to create a slides presentation from a template and so I've got Google Drive open. So then you want to open up Screencastify. You want to make sure that your microphone's working and I can see that mine is right here. If you want to put your little picture in picture like I have right down here in the corner then you'll turn on embed webcam. Um, if you want to get your countdown and show your drawing tools then you can go to show more options and, and turn on those those options. So I'm going to go ahead and hit record and I'm going to record the application window that I'm in right now. So I have two different windows open on my computer. I can see both of them or more if I have more open when I go to application window and I'm going to choose this one where I have my drive and as you know in Screencastify the word share means record. We're going to get a 3 2 1 countdown and then we're going to start recording. All right, so here we are, and it actually doesn't matter about the sound because remember, my destination is going to be a GIF, and in GIFs do not have sound. So I'm just going to go ahead and go through my process. And then when I get to the end of my process, I'm going to go ahead and stop my video. You know, I can do it up here with the extension or beneath my window. Um, you can't see it because it's out of the frame I'm recording right now, but all the way down at the bottom, I see a stop recording there too. And that one, that one actually looks a little bit cleaner. This particular video is a good time to show you the new editor which is going to let me take out parts of my video. So before with the previous editor I could only trim the beginning and the end but this one's going to let me do something more sophisticated and I actually want to get this GIF down just to the steps that I really need and there's a lot of lag time in there a lot of time waiting for the screen to load or whatever and I'm gonna go ahead and cut out all of those parts that are not really relevant to my process before I make my GIF all right as you can see now I'm looking at my video on my screen and I already am seeing parts that I know I want to take out so for example there is a lag between here and here that my viewers do not need to see. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a cut at the beginning of that part that my viewers don't need to see. I'm going to come over here and click again and I'm going to make a cut at the end of that part that my viewers don't need to see. All right, so you can see now I have got a piece of the video that is cut out and now I'm going to hit the trash can on this piece of video. You can see the outline selected there so I know what part I'm deleting. I'm going to delete that and then I'm going to move the edges of my video back together again. So now what I'm going to do that I've got the, that part is gone and my video is, is ready to go. I'm going to go ahead and save to Google Drive and I'm going to give it a name. When this video finishes processing, then we're going to download it as a GIF. So now that my video is done, I see the option to either view the video or share it. And I'm going to go ahead and click view so that we can look at the video and get ready to download it as a GIF. 
All right, so here is our video that we want to turn into a GIF now, and we're going to choose our Save to Disk button, which, by the way, if I hadn't edited the video, I just would have come right back to my Screencastify library. I usually get there by clicking on my Screencastify extension and then going to my recordings right here. I would open up my video that I had made, and I would choose Save to Disk and Export Animated GIF. Now, I like to make mine big. Um, I'm going to make it this big. This is big enough to go onto a slide, but look, it says file too large. So I'm going to make it as big as I can um, so that it will be as clear as it can be to my viewers. And it looks like that's about my limit on this particular size and shape of video. All right, so I'm ready now. I'm going to go ahead and go to export. I get a pop up on my computer. It's outside your range of view right now that says it's processing. And I can see that happening right up here at the top. And when it's done, I will have a link to download it, which I'll show you in just a second. And when I go back to the web page, I can see that. And now I can just choose save to disk. So let me show you an example of what I can do with this GIF now that I have it created. So let's say I wanted to add it to a slideshow. So I'm just going to get it from right down here at the bottom and drag and drop it into my slideshow. Um, I'll be able to edit this also. I just double clicked on it. So if I want to make it look a little bit cleaner, you know, get rid of the outside of my browser window, I can do that. I can move up the bottom to get rid of that bottom area. So I can also do things like add a border to it here inside of slides if I want to. Um, but that's not, you know, the coolest thing in the world because you could already put a video into slides. But what's really cool is the ability to put an animated GIF into a doc. So let's take a look at how that turns out now. So I can just click, hold, and drag the video into my document, or of course I can go to the insert, and I am inserting an image. Even though it's a moving image, a GIF is still considered an image. You can see now there's a video inside my document. I can crop it just like I could inside slides with a double click and then a pull on these handles. I can change the size of it if I want. And I could even make it bigger if I wanted to by changing the margins in my page setup. And I could make it take up the whole entire um, width of my document. So this is a great way to make a tutorial. You can put the steps right underneath your animated GIF so that people can watch how to do it and they can read the steps and hopefully get a lot better uh, comprehension that way. So I hope that helps. Um, I think it's a great feature, a great tool, and uh, I was glad to talk to you about it today. I'd love to hear from you in the comments if you're going to use this technique. I'd also love it if you would subscribe to our YouTube channel. I'm going to put a clickable button up there in the top left-hand corner of the video that will let you really easily subscribe. Um, and if you're not already on our mailing list, we'd love to have you there. We send out hints and tips like this all the time and we'd love to be able to send those to you too so I will put a link to our website right over there on the side as well I um, hope that helps and hope you enjoyed the video and if you did let us know and have a great day bye